Why skins are crashing? And why you should be worried? Careful. Economy is melting down. It started with an absolute ha Your skins are in danger. Make sure to watch till the end. Hammering when CS2 was released. And despite a brief rebound, prices are spiraling downwards yet again. Meanwhile, CS2 is hemorrhaging players. The complaints about the anti-cheat and lack of 128 tick and lack of content are getting louder and louder and louder. When will the pain end? And how much longer are people going to wake up and post tweets like this for? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look <laughs> at what's really going on and just how bad the game situation really is. Let's get into things. Now, this video is sponsored by which you'll all talk about skin prices of dollars and check it out today. So to start off with, we need to talk about skin prices. Skin prices don't really work in super logical ways. There's this really boring degree you can do at uni called finance and in the maths classes, which you'll almost certainly hate, they will tell you how to figure out the value of a share. So for example, if Big Ball 69 Limited is going to pay you a $2 dividend each year for 20 years and the discount rate is 6%, you can figure out pretty quickly how much you should be paying for those big balls. But skins don't work like this. They don't make money. They make your gun look nice in a video game. So they're... And they make you play better. A lot of people don't know that. Skins actually make you play better. Take me as an example. Before skins, I played so bad. Look at me now. I'm telling you, bro. They give you confidence. Easy confidence. If you go into a game, you buy your RVP, and the RVP is a nice-looking skin, and your teammate says, Yo, blue. You're blue. Wow. Nice RVP. You go into that round with huge confidence, with huge balls. You will take that peak on a shot that you wouldn't have done if you had an op, a default RVP. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Buy skins now. Prices can be a little bit stupid. What is a skin worth? Well, it's worth whatever Billy Bob feels like paying for it on the market today. Now, that doesn't mean things like how good a skin looks or how many of them they are or the weapons placed in the meta or stuff like that doesn't matter. In fact, it matters no. a lot. But you are going to be dealing with a market that is fundamentally more erratic and volatile than any traditional asset. And this is where we get to what happened with CS2. It was announced in March this year, and it made people get very, very horny. You see, CS2 is a very bright game. It made people get very, very horny. I thought he said corny, had to double check. No, he did in fact say horny. <laughs> True. CS2 did make me fucking horny, bro. You remember the voting rooms? Aaron and I were about full time bricked up, both of us. You see, CS2 is a very bright game. Skins look shinier in it, and if they're shinier, well, Clearly, they're going to be worth twice as much as they did in CSGO. And no, I'm not fucking kidding. That's basically what happened. People looked at CS2, thought to themselves, that looks pretty cool. And then the market decided that skins should suddenly be worth 100% more. <laughs> crazy oh my god. Bubbles I've ever seen. And from this point onwards, we were kind of screwed. You see, CS2 looks pretty awesome, but... How is it going to make skins worth twice as much in a sustain- I fucking love Twitch chat, bro. Look at this. I'm enjoying my chicken over here, right? No, how do I get rid of this? There we go. First time chatter. Yo, what up? Smile emoji. Good vibes. Enjoying your chicken. Yes! Thanks, brother. Welcome to the fucking stream, Habibi. Sustainable way. Was it going to be a huge That's influx of players from day one of its full release? Was it going to make everyone who played the game so turned on that they were happy to pay twice as much for their skins? Skin prices, in general, have for various reasons trended up over time. But this kind of movement didn't seem very sustainable, and it wasn't very sustainable. CS2 would arrive in September as a scuffed, unfinished game with numerous missing features, and when reality set in on the investing community, prices tanked. And with every passing day, that reality is progressively reversing the stupid prices this community pushed skins to in the lead up to CS2. And frankly, we have no one to blame here but ourselves. No matter how good CS2... I blame Smuya. I blame Smuya. <clears throat> Zack. Zündenbock, ja oder nein? I don't know. <clears throat> Every time someone came to the stream, it was Smuya. 
Our skin's gonna go up. Yes, that will explode once CS2 releases. Straight out of his mouth. One to one. It's smooth as his fault, bro, I'm telling you. Turned out to be. Skin prices doubling simply wasn't realistic. And even if this game didn't have Smooth and anomaly. Not me. Not me. Every time someone came to the stream, yo, Une, should I buy or sell skins right now? In anticipation of CS2, I said, hey, I'm not your financial advisor. Do your own research. Me. You got this, pal. Make sure to subscribe. I didn't say the last part, but make sure to subscribe. I None of that. Never ever did I say, right? Did I ever say your guys' price will explode? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not me. Mm -mm. Have a ton of problems and... Uh I saw this coming. I saw this coming. Mm -mm. Not claiming it doesn't, it does. This kind of hype-driven stupidity was always going to end in disaster. The real question is, what happens now? Because things are not looking very good. In fact, on paper, things seem really bad. CS2 is missing a ton of stuff. We are bleeding players. The cries of anger from people who just want good anti-cheat, good matchmaking, and 128 tick fucking servers are getting louder and louder and louder. And so long as this keeps on being a thing, aside from being really bad for the game in general, it's also not going to be good for skin prices. But I want to take a... <laughs> Bro. Why first time I'm trying to, I love the Twitch feature that they started showing it, bro. It's always like sometimes the most clue. <laughs> bro. Like a bro, I don't even oh man. More sample look at the pessimism I'm seeing everywhere. Because if I'm gonna be honest, I am not sure things are as bad as they seem. Firstly, we've got these play numbers. Have people quit CS because of the update? Yes, absolutely. But some of the accounts that have quit, inverted commas, are likely bot accounts, particularly the Flying Scoutsman type given Flying Scoutsman isn't even in the game anymore. I'd seen these types of declines happen before when Valve added the trade hold and when Valve removed the free path to Prime in 2021. Yes, some of the drop is real, but I don't think all of it is. And if history has taught us anything, it's that these players don't really quit, they just take breaks. When the game is True. in a better place, and also probably when some new shiny skins are added, a lot of the players that are leaving will probably come back. I'm also pretty skeptical about some of the general complaints about the anti-sheet matchmaking and 128 tick, because people have been complaining about these things for literally the entire history of CSGO, saying the game was going to die if Valve didn't make these changes, and the game grew. It grew, and it grew, and it grew. And I'm not saying that to dismiss valid criticism. Chad, why are we not getting 128 tick? They used to say back in the day, like uh, 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 an employee, correct me if I'm wrong, commented on it and said that 128 tick is too taxing for bad PCs. But now we get Source 2, Crazy Smokes, Follow Metric, Rip FPS, and uh, you know, now we upgrade uh, like the hardware requirements and stuff, but still no 128 Shut tick. Shut the fuck up, you fuck. Is, is it actually the the cost? By all his no spots. shot, right? They're making hundreds and hundreds of millions. Like they 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 crunch the numbers and probably with 128 tick may result in a higher player base, may result in more cases. It can't be that expensive, or I think they use the old servers. Nah, bro. I don't think it's greed because it would indirectly grow the game as well. No, people would play more in game as well instead of on face it. Do they benefit from that? Maybe, I don't know. Hmm. Can people play face it? Chat, so how even is it right now? I, I, I never, this may sound stupid to some of you guys, but I never really thought about it. I never like, like asked. Right now, you play CS2, it's free. If you want to play Premiere, do you need Prime? Do you need to buy Prime? Like the uh, CS2 Prime. Yes, okay, okay. Can you play face it without Prime? Yeah? No. Yes. Oh man, this chat. Yes or no? Oh man, I don't even know. It's like a fitty fitty. I guess yes. Interesting. So yeah, even then, you know, like, it would result in more primes, like, uh, <laughs> more primes. Would it would result in more primes as well, like, if, if everybody would use their system instead? Buys Prime, I don't know. Of the there has to be a reason why no 120 attack. I wish we had an answer from them now, the opinion. Why are they not voicing it, bro? Maybe there's like... 
Maybe there's a reason. It can't be money. It can't be. No way, dude. Cheat or matchmaking or the tick system. But when I've heard these same sorts of complaints, I've heard literally for the entire nine years I've played CS and the game has only gotten bigger and bigger and bigger in the meantime, I don't buy into the Doomerism. I just don't. I'm not saying Valve couldn't do better. They could, but I just don't buy the Doomerism. The lack of content, particularly the removed features and lack of new skins, is a genuine issue, of course, but this is one that Valve will very obviously eventually fix. And again, players tend to come back when that happens. So, what's True. the short-term outlook here? Probably not good, but the long-term outlook? Probably okay. And as one final note to close out this section, which I think represents what's happening extremely well. CS is always long-term, bro. The skin market goes down 10%. A fast forward to a year, we're up fucking 40% or whatever. Not financial advice, but I remember the shit absolutely burning when, what was it? When trade lock got introduced, when OP skins got banned, everybody quick selling, market down 40%, 50%, suck. Look where we're at now. Look where we're at now, suck. Well, despite all the anger at the current state of CS2, case unboxing rates have gone up. They've gone up a lot. People are opening a lot more cases than they were a month ago. And you can even see the deviation in psychology between different communities right. no. just by looking at the markets. Buff163, which is used by a lot of investors, is seeing a lot of case prices going down. But the exact same cases are either stable or going up on the Steam. Nah, that is so funny. Because people, casual new people, don't know about something like buff. Oh man, oh man. Interesting. The market where a lot of casuals buy cases. This tells us a lot about what's going on. Although there are some very vocal voices complaining about the game, and again, I, I think some of the stuff they're saying is very fair, very fair criticism of Valve. There are still very clearly a lot of casuals who are just enjoying the game, and voting with their wallets in a lot of respects and despite all the problems at the moment this is in a lot of respects a very good sign for the future of counter-strike 2. anyway Surely. that is 